Hi there, just a quick update on our cylinder player um, which has progressed over the last few days. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown on it. It's built very simply in, in, in sort of wood. We've extended this back. We've got our mandrel here. Um, and the most important thing is we've now got a long arm made of brass tubing, uh, which is rigid from this point. Um, it's pivoted here. This is the rear pivot of the arm, which is actually part of a, another arm, a, an old one we had lying around. And we took this out and adapted it, screwed it in, and we've now got this piece of brass. Uh, it runs pretty freely if I disengage the arm here. The front bit of it is pivoted here so that the head shell can go up and down and follow any irregularities in the cylinder. And the pivot makes the arm pretty uh, free moving, which is essential. Uh, power comes from an old computer power supply, 12 volts, which goes through this uh, variable resistance so that we can get uh, variable speed on the motor. Here's the belt on the main shaft, uh, which comes up from below from the motor. Uh, and here we have the motor. Um, it's a DC motor, which will do various speeds depending on the voltage applied to it. It's got a 50 to 1 ratio gearbox in there and it drives on this brass pulley I made through this long belt uh, up to drive the mandrel. Well the motor is capable of a wide range of speeds for our variable resistance um, but the only trouble is it's very noisy and um, I'll show you we've had to um, isolate it from the mandrel and the cylinder and the body of the, of the machine uh, by having it com mounted completely separately and cushioned on plastic foam so it's a bit of a you know, a bit of a rough rig, um, but it's working better than it did before. Yes, I'm afraid the motor is pretty noisy, listen. Well, the motor's running now, the stroboscope is pretty well stationary. Um, it makes a noise. I think we're going to have to go onto a stepper motor, but that's a bit high tech for me. But I think we'll have to bite the bullet. Still we can run it at this speed, but uh, this stroboscope here is actually 162 RPM. Well, we've used 162 RPM because you can't have 160 RPM, which is the correct speed. You can't have a stroboscope in Europe, which is exact, uh, not under 50 Hertz. Um, it has a bar missing, so when it goes around it sort of jumps and it makes it... It works, but it makes it inconvenient to read. But you can have one for 162 RPM, and that's much more convenient to look at, as you saw. And um, all you have to do is, having recorded the cylinder into your computer, is drop the pitch by 1.23%, and it shall take it down to 160. I don't know how accurate the pitching of cylinders was. I've not gone into it yet. Uh, but anyway, that's just a, a, a progress report. And um, I'm getting to quite like these wax ambrols. Um, they're, they're lovely things, smooth, regular. And um, we've actually got um, another Will Oakland cylinder for you, uh, which I'm getting to be quite a fan of. Uh, in this batch of cylinders I bought, there were four of his. Uh, and I think they're all great. And I hope you like this one as well. Oh, 
Oh. 